Yo, what up? Marvin here with Stay Fit with the Lord, where we help you to improve your spirit and fitness by focusing on God first. And on this channel, we do a lot of videos on the actions to take to grow your relationship with God and to improve your health. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. Have you ever spoken something and it came to life? For example, you said, I'm not going to get that job. I'm not going to get that promotion. I'm not going to pass this test. My health will never improve. I will never lose weight. I will never get married. That's because our words are powerful and they can speak life or death. I will be sharing scripture where God tells us to speak life. In this video, come. In the Bible, Matthew 33:37, it says, A tree known by its fruit. Either make the tree good and its fruit good, or else make the tree bad and its fruit bad. For a tree is known by its fruit, bread of vipers. How can you, being evil, speak good things? For out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. A good man, out of the good treasure of his heart, brings forth good things. And an evil man, out of the evil treasure, brings forth evil things. But I say to you, that for every idle word man makes speak they will give account of it in the day of judgment for by your words you will be justified and by your words you will be condemned how powerful is that that it says it in the bible in line 36 that jesus said for every idle word we speak we will give account of it in the day of judgment it goes on even further to line 37 and jesus says for by your words you will be justified and by your words you will be condemned i want you to think right now what are the words that are coming out of your mouth about yourself? Maybe is I'm not going to get that job. I'm not going to get that promotion. I'm not going to pass this test. My health will never improve. I will never get married. I will never break this addiction. I will never amount to anything. I will never heal from this sickness. So notice in the Bible how it says your words. It doesn't say by your mom's words. Our mom's jobs are to protect us and nurture us. But sometimes our moms, they protect us too much. They don't want to see us fail so sometimes they will keep us from attempting to reach the goals and visions that God has placed in our hearts without that being their intent they have our best interests but they still see you as their little baby and they don't want you to leave it doesn't say by your dad's words it doesn't say by your grandma or grandpa's words it doesn't say by your brother's words it doesn't say by your sister's words it doesn't say by your aunt or uncle's words it doesn't say by your teacher's words it doesn't say by the words of this world it says your words let that sink in for a little bit it says your words god has given us the freedom and power to choose the words that come out of our mouth god wants us to live from a victorious heart and mind Check this out. What if when we get to heaven and God says, I had all this for you, your vision, your goals, your promotion, your healing, your breakthrough, your miracle, your calling, your purpose, your victory. But because you kept saying, God, I'm not qualified. God, I don't know how to do this. God, I'm nobody. God, I'm just a regular person. God, are you sure you want me to do this? God, I give up. God, I'm not this. God, I'm not that. God, it's too late for me. God, I'm too old. God, I'm too young God says I couldn't give it to you what words are coming out of our mouth that are stopping us from what God has for us in the Bible in Proverbs 29 18 it says that death and life are in the power of the tongue so let's make sure that we are speaking life today something that I try to do consistently every morning is speaking morning declarations over my life it's an amazing phenomenal way to start off your morning off like this also something crazy happens when you do this consistently every day you actually start becoming the words you speak and declare over your life I want you guys to write down and start with these 12 
declarations. Number one, this will be a great day. This is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Psalm 118, 24. Number two, I am a person of great hope and optimism. In every situation I face today, I will be confident and know what I am to do. James 1, 5. Number three, because I believe there is a solution for every difficulty. I will see solutions manifest in incredible ways, even in the most difficult situations. 2 Kings 4, 1, 7. Number four, my past prayers are powerfully working today. My thanksgiving concerning these petitions is key for me to live worry-free and in peace today. Philippians 4, 6, 7. Number four, Five, because I have vision for my future. I realize today is a day of training for my prophetic destiny. Everything I face is an opportunity to build spiritual muscles for my increasingly influential days ahead. Philippians 3, 12, 14. Number six, my soul will prosper today. My response to what happens today will be more important than what happens. 3 John 2, number seven, I am significant. And what I do today will be significant for kingdom advancement. Mark 9, 24. Number 8. I will positively impact every location, every meeting, and every person I encounter today. Acts 5, 15. Number 9. Everything in my past is working for good today. Romans 8, 28. Number 10. I will walk in the joy of the Lord today because it is my strength. I choose to be glad today even though there are unresolved situations and uncertainties in my life. My joy is a catalytic force that advances the kingdom. Nehemiah 8, 10. Romans 14, 17. Number 11. Today, I will be supernaturally propelled by God's grace to walk in personal victory, prosper in my relationships, and impact the world mightily for him. Psalm 1, 2, 3. Number 12. I will not lose heart today because I believe I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Psalm 27, 13. Speaking negatively about myself is something that I struggle with for the longest and I still sometimes struggle with it. But ever since God blessed me with the revelation that those negative thoughts and words are not from him but from the enemy and that God through the Bible does not tell us to speak death but to speak life. God has completely changed my life spiritually and physically. I challenge you to today, not tomorrow, not next week, not next month, not next year, but today to really pray deep and ask God to give you the power and strength to speak declarations over your life and he will. So I highly encourage you to give it a try. Nah, you know what? Scratch that. Don't give it a try. Do it. You're watching this video for a reason, right? So take action and do it. Believe it or not, doing these declarations has completely changed and transformed my life forever. These steps are the steps that I have taken to be consistent. So I challenge you to do this for just seven days and see how God will speak to you through these declarations. Do this for seven days and comment below to encourage others. The question of the day. Do you think that you can speak life into yourself or have you spoken life into yourself before? Let me hear from you in the comment section below. My mission is to help people stay fit with the Lord. Just like we go to the gym to improve our health, I want people to come to this channel to renew their spirit but I cannot do it by myself I need your help so if God used this video to speak to you please don't keep this to yourself share this video with someone that you think God would use to renew their spirit just like he did with yours thanks for checking out this video subscribe if you haven't yet until next time stay fit with the Lord is helping you to improve your spirit and fitness by focusing on God first and giving you actions to take to grow your relationship with God and to improve your health I have a blessed day peace out and remember let's stay fit